I wrote it and it's basically a piece about a couple and it's their first flat that they move into together and kind of the problems that they have. Also it's got good stuff as well, funny stuff as well. Um, but yeah, just kind of a couple modern day moving in together. Yeah, it's a comedy. So it's something that we want to try and get people to have a bit of a laugh with, don't yeah. we? And just enjoy it. And a bit of fun, you know. So. And what inspired you to write it? So, um, myself and my boyfriend, when we moved in together, we moved into <laughs> this apartment that wasn't probably the best of apartments to start off, like, your sort of first home together with, there was a lot of problems. Um, some of the problems I've kind of stolen from other people's bad experiences as well, so it's a lot of, like, uh, what I've got from my friends, like, my parents, that kind of thing, but also a lot of it is from personal experience, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, that's, that's part of it, isn't it? That's part yeah. of the script for it, I mean... Even just when you read through the script, you are reading the scenarios that every couple will mm. go through when you're first moving into a flat or anywhere for that matter, you know, for any couple, for anywhere, so, yeah. And it's, uh, I think it's relatable to everyone, like couples moving in together, people that have maybe gone to uni, living in, you know, really cheap, dingy sort of places and you've got to, you can't really like pay your bills this month and you've got mould growing off the walls and all that sort of thing so I think it is really relatable really comedically and also really real in some situations it can get really stressful so I think it's, it's something that everyone can sort of pick out their own experiences from as well which is, which is quite nice yeah. isn't it yeah definitely I know there's a lot of sort of kind of political historical players at the moment which I think really like need to be done but also in the same breath I think like there's been an element that's been kind of lost in the fun sort of theatre so I think we associate pantomime with fun theatre but it's more um, just so people can come for like an hour, just less than an hour, have a bit of fun, go for drink, go for food afterwards, and it's not taking like three hours of your life away from you, and it's just have a laugh, enjoy yourself, and kind of get lost in it a little bit, um, and you don't hopefully not fall to tears. No, <laughs> and also it's kind of like, because it tells the story of two people that are like artistic, and I think a lot of people that come to like the fringe and stuff like that are actors, directors, yeah. artsy people, musicians, yeah. and it's kind of like everyone can kind of tap into their own experience because it's so hard to find your own work and you've got to push yourself. And it kind of it's you that's your instrument. It's really, and it's in a really fun way, but it's kind of like everyone can kind of relate to it.